Hey everyone, welcome back to Photoshop Icebreakers. I'm Bianca Ashley from Ashby Creative Studio. Today, I'm gonna show you how to master quick retouching tools in Photoshop for object removal. In this video, we'll cover essential techniques like content aware fill, the lasso tool, and the plump snap tool to remove unwanted objects from your images. Understanding these techniques is crucial for graphic designers looking to present their work more professionally. Now let's dive in. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find a photo you like, whether it's a person or object from the foreground or the background. You can source high quality photos from Adobe Stock or just take them from your phone. Just make sure it's good quality and crisp. Now I found this picture and I wanna take away the cup from the photo. We can use a simple tool to take it away like content aware fill. So how do we do this? The first thing you're gonna do is duplicate the photo itself in the layers panel. It's always a good idea to have a duplicate on hand in case you make a mistake. You can do this by pressing Command J and renaming any layers you need. After that's done, we need to select the portion of the photo we wanna take away. The best way to do that is using the lasso tool. I like this tool because I want to highlight the object and a bit around it. Next, we're going to remove the object by going to Edit Content Aware Fill. Photoshop will use AI to fill in the photo with the pixels around it. We're going to zoom in and see where the photo is a bit wonky and use the clone stamp tool to make it more seamless. Also, while looking at this book, you can see it's been heavily used, so we're gonna keep the look cohesive. A good setting to start with is a medium soft brush to achieve smooth edges. Move the cursor to the area you wish to take pixels from. Use Option, click to confirm your sources. The cursor will change into crosshairs. The moment you click, the cursor will change and show the pictures you've cloned. I like to stay in small sections when using this tool to make it more realistic. Now, start painting over the object you want to remove. Make sure it's not obvious that you're duplicating another part of the photo. If it's noticeable, go back to clone, other pixels, and continue painting. Repeat this until everything looks natural. What you have to look out for is patterns. Patterns will reveal that you've removed an object. The clone source panel comes in handy when trying to avoid patterns. Use the mirror buttons to make your cloning look more natural. This will mirror the pictures you paint over it and the unwanted object. The result will look better. Now, let's take a look at the before and after. It's as easy as that. You've now learned how to master quick retouching tools in Photoshop for object removal. Keep practicing and apply these techniques to enhance your graphic design projects. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more helpful tutorials.